What's up, everybody? It's Chi. We're back in Skyrim. We, we've made our way to Riften to drop off this bounty. And I feel like people keep drawing us into more uh, crap, so we're just gonna... Can I... Hello? Can I get around you guys? I know you. Where was it? Huh. Oh! You were getting something for me. What? No kidding, organized. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. Oh my god, everybody wants me to do something for them. Yep, As yep. As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. N no, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. What? Uh, yeah, go on. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Sure. Putting aside Ralston's constant of universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? You totally lost me. I don't know. How about using... Uh, I don't know. Seven. Astonishing. I hadn't considered that. I mean, it would take months, years to work out the differentials. But what a revolutionary concept! Wait, wait. I can see a minor problem in your theory. Without a soul siphon, how would you prevent permanent magicka burn? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves you know all it. my problems and keeps the field stable. That's what I do, man. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? I... Uh... Where exactly now am I going? Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer spoon was at my Iverstead. dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh well. Winterhold. You want the college there. They teach quite a bit. Okay. Nice. Now, where did I put those spiders? Oh, Rush you, man. Oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun at the Jarl's youngest son? I mean, why? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. 
Now my mother has stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. What lies has... Ulfric only said? cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. All right. All right, then. Because my alchemy and stuff here. What about you, big guy? As Yar Leila's housecar, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance <clears throat> from her at all times. Take your protector? Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Yar's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the nice end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Yar. I will not allow her to fall. All right. Well, uh, tell me about Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. Damn. Tell me about these Gil. Liars and bastards. Every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Ratway and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. What's the Ratway? Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I didn't I'd know go that. down there myself, but that would leave Yara Leila unprotected. I'm keeping my eye on you. Yeah. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. All right. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. Hmm. Rumors of corruption, within, you know, who, who's saying what? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Mm. Tell me about the Blackbriar family, if you don't mind. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim, the Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. Yeah, but... Like, if she just owns it, why does she run the city? Why is she the... the I'd daughter? hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. Alright, hey, I killed this dragon at that place. The auto watched, uh, uh, Ottoman watchtower. Yeah. I'm oh, dead, so I'm here for Excellent. Money. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. You're welcome in Riften. As long Shall as we give yeah. some of our hard-earned money to the poor? Nah, let's waste it all on me. Yeah, let's go get fucked up. Billy! Barracks.
Shut up, Billy. Updating these maps, there we go. Just clicked it a whole bunch of times. What upstairs? Up here. Oh, what's up? Well, <clears throat> we'll go in here. We'll talk to say what's up to the Arl. What up, Yarl? I'll be re bitch when you go. Think you belong here. Yeah, I'm leaving. I am leaving. Shut up. People are assholes. <clears throat> Sound sucks. Why run everybody was kind of they were nicer. I mean they were, everybody asked for, you know, like, hey, can you do missions or stuff? But it's the first time. Obviously it's gonna have People were just kinda of dicks. citizen what is vibrating what was that what is that is there an N I need the N it's a manor I don't want to go to the manor what is this place temple I need the temple right now I need somewhere to sleep Me, Sophia. It's kind of rude. Have you ever tried bareback? I didn't like it. It started to make me a little sore after a while. What's with the funny face? I was talking about horse riding. Forever slut. <clears throat> Beggar's row. Oh, what's this? That's an elixir place. House. I don't remember if Riften ever looked like this. I have a, like, I don't remember spending a lot of time. Sophia! I remember spending a whole bunch of time here. have questions no, I just want to say what's up have a good night soul divided why you stay out of it I mean, I'm not going in there right now milk I bet you do <clears throat> thanks buddy make it quick sorry I'm just looking for a place to sleep that's the orphanage I don't go there right now it's the hammer Skyrim That is like a pawn shop. Mm. This has to be this. This is the only place. The bar has to be a bar and tavern. <clears throat> you've got the coin. You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. 
This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of kind. No, no, Marama. We talked about this. Talon? Certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. <laughs> These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Maramar. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this I den of iniquity. I wonder what would happen if a Khajiit and an Argonian had a baby? Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all baby. sin in peace. Blessings of Mara upon you. More about the temple. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the oh. goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending love. to the sick, the poor, and the lost. Right. We also perform okay. wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Uh. Can I wait at the yes, temple? if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? I might, why don't you remind me? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Here you are. Now, remember, People in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Nice. Mara bless you. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. You accept charity, man? I mean... Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Yeah, for love, man. Well, here's, there you go. Thank you. I can promise Five you bucks. that this will be put to good use. May Never you done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, hey lad? But I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. All right. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. Mm -mm. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Why, why plan a ring on him? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. Why are we doing We've this? been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. How am I supposed to do Do you want me to hold your hand as well? Yes. You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. What's that lady we had issues with? New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Are you a fisherman? Only the best in all of Riften. I own Riften right Fishery. Started cool. out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? 
Yeah, man. Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Or thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. Who buys all I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markarth. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. If you're headed that way, I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. Sure, uh, delivery? Good. Yeah. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. Thank you. Sound quite charitable, man. Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. You mentioned Navor. Navenor Nav yeah. is my wife. Navenor. How okay. I was ever able to mm -hmm. meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? You're right. Remember to give at the temple. Yeah, I just, I did. <clears throat> this better be good. I do love causing a stir. Once I started singing at the top of my voice, and someone told me to stop shouting. Then I replied, Do I look dragonborn or like one of those creepy old guys who live on the mountaintops to you? You're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. What can I get you? Me? Wine? Blue in the face. Rifton's biggest exports used to be fishing and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the meadery is the biggest game in town. If Maven Blackbriar keeps raising prices on meat, I'll have to resort to watering it down just to make ends meet. Really? Sibby Blackbriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. The Thieves' Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. Crime is an all-time high in this city thanks to the Thieves' Guild. Don't we have enough problems with the war going on? If it's true that the Dragons have returned, 
What will it mean for all of us? Is this how it all ends? Yeah, the dragon's going back so... Here, oh, take a look her. at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Thanks. Kill the dragon. I mean, I already did that. Come back and see. my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. Uh... I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was oh, hoping you'd good. offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. <clears throat> I need one more. Tell me about it, man. Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Ooh, cliff racer. Thirteen bucks. Special drinks? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lechance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. Hell yeah. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. So even... Everybody just seems to hate him, but they Disgusting. Just him Ruined sewers filled with goodness knows what. There's an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves' Guild's territory. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Yeah, man. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Sort of message. Ah, well. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Uh, sure, man. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. 
Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. So why, why is he in jail? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Mm, well... I'll meet you outside of town. Yeah, sure, maybe. Talk to everybody but her. Let's talk to this lady. What's up, yo? Yeah, what's your problem? Uh, I want to talk about... I knew that debt. stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. You... You and I both know this is the setup. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope we bump there into we each go. other again. Return to Shadra, rah, rah. My you. skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. With a master of magic at your side, you'll have nothing to fear. You be here, Central. Thank you. As long as you're still what is it? Enjoyed a little chat. I wonder if I can marry Sophie. Was there something you wanted? I'm glad that <clears throat> relationship fifteen. I don't know what that means. I rather like a to little now. chat. I know you do, girl. What is Hang it? on. Let's... What's up? Can we talk for a bit? What would you like to talk about? You girl, how are you feeling? I'm nauseous from the smell. This place absolutely stinks. Almost as bad as you do. <laughs> that was a joke, obviously. Or was it? You can ask me anything. Yeah, so what were you doing before we met? Have you ever thought a bit mean? I know. Nice? What can I say? It must be so hard for other people being so <laughs> inferior to me. All right, then. Let's go, Sophie. You just ruined, you know, being nice to you, and you just kind of just, just being mean. It's all right. We understand and love you for it. Uh, and music just played on the screen. Oh, in the old days, when dragons ruled the earth, there lived mortal men who worshipped death. You're a stranger here too, huh? To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? 
They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rebel. What do you think? You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Eren, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since Maybe. we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. All right, thanks for the... Thank you. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thieves' Guild. I've tried everything I can to protect Riften's citizens from her family, but to no avail. All right, so who else is there? Well, there is Ingun Blackbriar, Maven's daughter. Strange girl. She likes to spend time down in Elgrim's Elixirs working on her alchemy. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. Spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi, the worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. Not from Riften, are you? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Valenwood, Elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. Sophie, calm down, shit. Why are you here, then? Many years ago, I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within a Dwemer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. How did he save your life? It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Lifton, I decided fate brought me here for a reason, so I stayed. Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Where'd that guy go? Well met, friend. How can I help you? No, you're cool. We're outside the stable right here. and. Griffin has a lot of problems. I don't want to leave it. I kind of want to clean, cleanse the Thieves' Guild. Take them out and get the Black Briar uh, family out of power. There's something we can do. Not just like kill them, but like a storyline progression that will like lead to us getting them out. Don't know if that's a thing. And stables. Right. Ah. Ah. Any luck with Sapphire? By the eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but. I don't need it anymore. Nice of Invis invisibility. Sick. Until next time. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Must be dangerous living outside the city walls. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms in all of Skyrim. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. 
Hell yeah. Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I can beat you in a fist fight. You match the bet, and we fight until one of us gives in. Yeah. Alright, remember, this is a clean fight. No weapons, no tricks. And none of those fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on. Never should have come here. Go. Get away with this. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll go a little bit longer. I finished chess. We won't bring him to a fight because I accidentally hit one dude and everybody else was like, Get him! You need to calm down. Calm down. Oops! Oops. Calm down. I made my nice clothes. Just here. Not adventuring. I didn't, shouldn't even get in a fist fight. I didn't want to get my nice clothes dirty. <laughs> What's up, man? Any luck with some? Bye. Here you go. I don't know. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. You're welcome. I I might need it have a good day later. <laughs> Even though I do want to help Rifton and uh, all its issues, I think uh, we're going to call it uh, time out on Rifton. We'll come back later and help out. I do think I want to start heading back towards Solitude, which was my original. Uh, goal which we've gotten close we've naturally walked all the way to Dragon Bridge so we're gonna I'm gonna fast travel here next time we'll explore it and then we'll come away up here and we'll enter solitude so uh, don't forget to like subscribe share uh, all these videos uh, join us on Madcap this is where all the videos that we uh, stream here on Twitch you can go to on, my, on, on YouTube so follow me MKB2 uh, on Twitch and then Madcap on YouTube to get all these and we'll see you next week guys. Have a great day. Later!